Good morning, everyone. Good morning. And happy Mother's Day to everyone. Thank you. We begin this Mass uh, by celebrating it in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with all of you. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and call to mind our sinfulness and ask God for his pardon and forgiveness. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, bless Mary and the Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Amen. Almighty and ever-living God, constantly accomplish the Paschal mystery within us, that those you were pleased to make new in holy baptism may, under your protective care, bear much fruit and come to the joys of life eternal through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. As the members of disciples continued to grow, the Hellenists complained against the Hebrews because their widows were being neglected in the daily distribution. So the Twelve called together the community of the disciples and said, It is not right for us to neglect the word of God to serve at table. Brothers, select from among you seven reputable men filled with spirit and wisdom, whom we shall appoint to this task whereas we shall devote ourselves to prayer and to the ministry of the word. The proposal was accepted to the whole community, so they chose Stephen, a man filled with faith and the Holy Spirit, also Philip, Prochorius, Nicano, Tim, Timon, Parmanus, and Nicholas of Antioch, a convert to Judaism. They presented these men to the apostles, who prayed and laid hands on them. The word of God continued to spread, and the number of the disciples in Jerusalem increased greatly. Even a large group of priests were, begin were becoming obedient to the faith. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The responsorial psalm. Lord, let your mercy be on us as we place our trust in you. Lord, Lord let, let your mercy be on us as we place our trust in you. you. Exalt you just in the Lord. Praise from the uprightest fitting. Give thanks to the Lord on the harp. With the ten-stringed lyre, chant his praise. Lord, let your mercy be on us as we place our trust in you. Upright is the word of the Lord and all his works are trustworthy. He loves justice and right, and the kindness of the Lord, the earth is full. Lord, Lord let your mercy be on us as we place our trust in you. See, the eyes of the Lord are upon those who fear him, upon those who hope for his kindness, to deliver them from death and preserve them in spite of famine. 
Lord, let your mercy be on us as we place our trust in you. A reading from the first letter of St. Peter. Beloved, come to him, a living stone, rejected by human beings, but chosen and precious in the sight of God. And like living stones, let yourself be built into a spiritual house to be a holy priesthood to offer spiritual sacrifices acceptable to God through Jesus Christ. For it says in scripture, Behold, I am laying a stone in Zion, a cornerstone, chosen and precious, and whoever believes in it shall not be put to shame. Therefore, its value is for you to have faith and for those without faith. The stone that the builder, has, the builder rejected has become the cornerstone and a stone that will make people stumble and a rock that will make them fall. They stumble by disobedient, disobeying the word as is their destiny. You are a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people of his own, so that you may announce the praises of him who called you out of darkness into his wonderful light. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Jesus said to his disciples, Do not let your hearts be troubled. You have faith in God, have faith also in me. In my Father's house there are many dwelling places. If they were not, would I have told you that I was going to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I'll come back again and take you to myself, so that where I am, you also may be. Where I am going, you know the way. Thomas said to him, Master, we do not know where you're going. How can we know the way? Jesus said to him, I am the way, and the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. If you know me, then you would know also my Father. From now on, you do know him and have seen him. And Philip said to him, Master, show us the Father, and that will be enough for us. And Jesus said to him, have I been with you for so long a time, and you still do not know me, Philip? Whoever has seen me has seen the Father. How can you say, show us the Father? Do you not believe that I am in the Father, and the Father is in me? The words that I speak to you, I do not speak on my own. The Father who dwells in me is doing his works. Believe me, that I am in the Father, and the Father is in me, or else believe because of the works themselves. Amen, amen, I say to you, whoever believes in me will do the works that I do and will do greater works than these because I am going to the Father. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Well, we come together today to celebrate the fifth Sunday of Easter we also come together today to uh, celebrate Mother's Day. And as we celebrate Mother's Day, we pray in a special way for all of our mothers, those who are with us and those who are in heaven. We pray in a special way, though, for our Blessed Mother to be with us, especially during this pandemic, an opportunity for her to uh, raise her motherly love to each and every one of us, to show it to us in a beautiful and wonderful way. You know, they used to say, uh, go to bed at nighttime saying the rosary and wrap yourself in the mantle of the Blessed Mother. And that was a wonderful idea, a wonderful thought of understanding just how much Mary loves us and how sometimes we forget about her. And yet, we know that a mother's love is one that is something that cannot be totally described because it goes beyond all the definitions that could possibly be written about it. 
And our Blessed Mother shows us in a wonderful and beautiful way her love through her son Jesus. We see how she is there for him as he grows up. Sometimes she has to understand what, what he's doing in his life when he was 12 years old, when he was in the uh, temple and they lost him on the way uh, leaving Jerusalem to go back home. Mary thought that he was with Jesus, uh, and Jesus rather was with Joseph, and, and Joseph thought that Jesus was with Mary. And then they run back to the temple in Jerusalem and they find him talking to all the learned men. And she said, you know, do you know what you did to me and your father? And he says, did you not know that I have to be about my father's business? So Mary, in many different ways, had to be a mother that nurtured and loved her son, but also had to be one to give him the freedom to do the things that he needed to do. All of our mothers do that. They give us that freedom to grow up and uh, to get on our own two feet and do the things that we need to do. But we always need them to do the little things in our lives. And when they're no longer with us, it's difficult. As I experienced this year, this first Mother's Day, and Father Anthony as well, that uh, we, there's something missing in our lives. And uh, it's something very important. And for all those people who have lost their mothers, that they're in heaven, we know that they're there watching over us, caring for us, loving us and most importantly, our Blessed Mother. So today, as we uh, celebrate this day, this Mother's Day, a different kind of a Mother's Day. I remember when I was a young boy, it was a day that we would go to my grandmother's house and the whole family would gather together. We'd get all dressed up, we'd have to wear a suit jacket. And one of the things that was interesting is we all, the boys anyway, we wore boutonnieres. And if your mother was alive, you wore a pink boutonniere. If your mother was deceased, you wore a white boutonniere. These little things that were a part of our lives that I guess people don't even remember sometimes, or they don't even think about anymore. But these are the things that helped us in growing up, to know a mother's love for us, but also to know our blessed mother's love. When we were in school, we were taught how important she was, that she's not God but that she is a mediatrix, one that allows us to pray through her to a son and uh, to uh, ask her to intercede for us in all the things that we need in our life. Sometimes it's easier to speak to a mother than it is to a father. Sometimes it's easier to speak to the mother and know that we'll get exactly what we want. And she's proven that time after time most importantly, uh, at the wedding feast in Cana, she went to Jesus and said they ran out of wine. He says, what has this got to do with me? It's not my wedding. And so she just turned from him and went to the head waiter and said, do whatever he tells you to do. And Jesus did what he had to do. He changed the water into wine. And that was the first miracle that he performed. But it was Mary that made him do it. It was Mary that showed him what he needed to do. So today, let us uh, honor our mothers. Let's, uh, if we can't visit them, let's call them up. Let's uh, Skype with them, let's Zoom with them, whatever it is, or just pick up the telephone and talk to them and say that we love them. And uh, if our mothers are not with us, we can talk to them through uh, the wonderful gift that we have of a God who loves us and shares with us the gift of eternal life and know that one day we will see them again and one day we will enjoy their love always. And so to all of you, I wish you a happy Mother's Day and I wish all of us to honor our Blessed Mother not only during this month of May but every single day because she is there for us. Her love, her motherly care for us, for us is there every single day, and we should never forget her. God bless you. Let us pray. For our church, our Holy Father, and for all the people of the church, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the sick and those less fortunate than we are, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. 
For an increase of devotion to our Blessed Mother, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. Let us pray on this Mother's Day for all our mothers, those living and those deceased, those who are enrolled in the uh, Mother's Day Novena of Masses. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. Let us pray that our Blessed Mother will intercede for us that this coronavirus pandemic might end soon, that we might be able to come back to church and be with uh, her and be with her son in the Eucharist. Let us pray for all those who have died from the coronavirus, those who are sick in the hospital. We pray for the families who have lost loved ones. We pray for the families who uh, support their loved ones who are in the hospital but can't even visit them. We pray in a special way for all the doctors, nurses, emergency service workers, and uh, medical technicians that help those in the hospital for all that they do. We pray for our police, our fire, and emergency service. We pray for all the people who are essential to our lives, that make our lives just a little bit better during this pandemic. We thank them for all that they sacrificed to make our lives a little bit better. And we place all these prayers now in your holy name. Amen. And we pray to our Blessed Mother, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God of the bread. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands will become a spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray now, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Father of me. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise, praise and glory of your name, for our good and the good of all this holy church. O God, who by the wonderful exchange effected in this sacrifice have made us partakers of the one supreme Godhead, grant we pray that we, as we have come to know your truth, we may make it ours by a worthy way of life through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift, lift them up to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, loving this time above all to love you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. By the oblation of his body, he brought the sacrifice of all to fulfillment in the reality of the cross, and by commending himself to you for our salvation, showed himself the priest, the altar, and the lamb of sacrifice. Therefore, overcome the paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, 
gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up to you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, when we eat this bread and we drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Nicholas, our Bishop, our auxiliary bishops, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. That with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. And through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and informed by divine teaching, we now dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And with and your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold Jesus, the Son of the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world, Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Uh, just to remind you all to keep in touch with the church through the uh, website and uh, know that the Mass will be every Sunday that we are uh, closed as a, as a community, but we are open through the wonderful media that we have. Um, also, uh, thank you to all those who are keeping up with their uh, envelopes. It's a big help to us, uh, a very important help to us. If you would like to remember anyone, uh, please uh, use the envelopes for the Mother's Day Novena of Masses. We'll be, we'll be celebrating that uh, throughout the week, so uh, if you can, get those envelopes in um, as soon as possible. Either drop them off at the rectory, uh, put them in the mail, or, or you can uh, go on the website and make a donation as well. Uh, but again, to all those who have uh, been very generous and uh, very loyal to the church, I say thank you. I thank you uh, so much. I know that uh, Father Anthony and Sister uh, uh, also uh, are thankful because we know that there are people out there that remember us, you know, and uh, so that's an important thing. So to all the mothers, um, I'd like to ask Father Anthony to join me in giving a blessing to all the mothers through the media. I don't know if we're like the Pope that we can do that, but we'll try anyway. So, the Lord be with all of you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you all, but most especially our mothers today, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God.